what's up dudes dudes so my new intro my new logo tell me what you think of it uh dream made pictures description and a link check them out if you want a hot logo hot graphics they hooked me up my boy ricky over there yeah his name is rick too slick rick ricky there's good people out there there's really cool people out in this world yeah, not everybody's a con artist and a scammer go subscribe add to him watch his his opening intros is like, like out of hollywood they do amazing work, and I really, really appreciate what he did for me. I didn't even plan on putting out a video tonight. I was actually working on another project. Um, it's crazy. Uh, Johnny Tapia just found out he passed away, and um, I, I, I was a huge Tapia fan. I mean, me and my dad used to watch Johnny Tapia when I was growing up. I think I first seen him on Tuesday Night Fights, and uh, he was just an amazing fighter, in my opinion. Yeah, he wasn't like at the top elite, he wasn't like a Floyd Mayweather, but this guy, he was like an Otoro Gaddy. Uh, he fought everyone uh, in his day. I mean, he, he fought Barrera, he fought Pauli Ayala. He was, he was just, his personality. He, 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 had, he struggled with, with alcohol and booze and drugs or whatever, all the garbage, all the junk. Mi vida loca, his crazy life. He would talk about it openly. And um, I think he's a shoe in This is my opinion, because I'm a huge fan for a Hall of Famer. They have to put him in that Hall of Fame. Now, if they don't, curse, curse, curse the Hall of Fame. He should be in the Hall of Fame, a Boxing Hall of Fame. It's just a sad, sad night for me. I had a great day today. It's Sunday. It's Memorial Day weekend. And uh, I, I see. I was checking out the fights a couple weeks ago. I think it was on HBO, and I was looking at the crowd. I think it was in Texas. I forget which card it was. And I know I see Tappy in that audience. It had to be Johnny Tappy. I noticed him right away. I mean, the guy. He had. He had such a great personality. I tweeted out some of his um, interviews. He was working for Showtime for a couple weeks there, back at Super Six, going around with a microphone. Johnny Tapia, he had a magnanimous personality, and my dad loved him. My, my dad's gone now. If you want to talk about your best moments of remembering Johnny Tapia, just weigh in, dudes, comment away. I I love the way he used to run after the referee. Dude was a funny guy. He would go like he'd be hitting, and then he'd like go back, and then he'd go back to the ring and, and like walk after the, his opponent. He was a crazy guy, but in a good way. I love that dude, and. Um, uh, Johnny Tapia, he will be missed for sure, guys. Johnny Tapia is with the boxing gods, and he's still going on, and he's moving on to a better place. And uh, he will be missed. He was a huge personality. Loved that guy. He was awesome, all right? Johnny Tapia better be in that Hall of Fame, or real boxing fans are going to be pissed off, okay? Johnny Tapia should be in the Hall of Fame. And uh, Johnny Tapia also, he won his last fight. That's awesome. It was against Mauricio Pastrana. This is according to BoxRecord.com. It was the eighth round unanimous decision. So he had a string of wins. He won his four, four of his last fights. Johnny Tapia's record stands at he won 59 fights, 30 big KOs, lost five. And uh, damn, Tapia will be missed. All right, guys, enjoy your uh, holiday weekend in the States and wherever else, if you're watching overseas or whatever. Enjoy your days and be positive, dudes. And fight fans rule. I'll see you guys soon. Peace, dudes.